Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Scorpio and is intended for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it with an oracle card message for all Scorpio placements. <clears throat> and this is a love reading. Keep in mind, this could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it is intended for the next 72 hours. Keep what resonates. Please check what doesn't. Feel free to reverse the roles whenever, however you see fit. There is no gender in tarot. We all have masculine energies within us. Keep what resonates and check what doesn't. I feel like I said that already, but I feel the need to repeat it. All right. What do you have for my Scorpios for the next 72 hours, spirit? In regards to love for my Scorpios. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Cards haven't come out like that today. Overall, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt, number two. But we already knew that. We knew that. Okay. We have throne, your potential is endless, number 45. We knew that too, Scorpio. We knew that. Nostalgia, focus on the here and now, number 33. Okay. So in the past, you could have had a string of bad relationships, of course. Oh, and underneath this, it has swim away from this situation. So you may have just gotten out of something or you, again, you could have just had a bad dating history. And you're coming into a period of, you know, it's like once you feel like you've healed, you got to heal some more. It's like you got over a huge hurdle in your healing process and you're realizing your worth and your new potential, your new abilities. I don't know why I wanted to say new abilities and new powers, but some of you could be realizing that. Realizing your manifestation powers and who you are. And you're still thinking about the past, about how people treated you, underappreciated you, you got less than you deserve. But I'm seeing it as focus on the here and now and then with the full card, new beginnings. All right, what do you have for my Scorpios for the next 72 hours? Because I was just talking. The sun, first card out. You could be dealing with a Leo or have it strongly in your chart. Happiest card of the tarot. Love, warmth, radiance is this new cycle you're coming into. It's also illumination. What else do you have for my Scorpios? Cards coming out crazy. Seven of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be getting a lot of attention at this time. Have a lot of options. Oh my gosh, the world. Major completion card. Last card of the major arcanas. I told you, you're coming out of a, you're completing a cycle of being treated less than you deserve. And that's also Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Overall, the Nine of Swords, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you could be very anxious about this new cycle. Oh, I see why you're anxious. Either you could be anxious or someone's anxious about you losing sleep. Someone's in love. Someone sees who their 10 of cups is, their soulmate, and they want to work with this person. And someone's really, really anxious about it. Probably because of past situations. Someone's needing to gather the strength here. Oh, someone wants to make a love offer. Someone here. Someone is uh, a little obsessed passionate about you this could also be a capricorn yes someone is passionate with the queen king of wands okay scorpio someone is very passionate about you someone is in love with you okay you may not even see it because you're focused on the past and with the seven of cups being in the middle this is a fantasy card or someone could also have a lot of options you could have dealt with someone like that in the past or you could have a lot of options and afraid to choose one because you don't want to choose wrong or someone could be doing that. But I'm also seeing you fantasize about this and whatever you've been dreaming about trying to manifest, this is a new beginning in that. Your wish fulfillment is being illuminated. I don't know why I'm seeing it as that. Let's clarify. It's like a fantasy. This person feels that way to you. Like they're not real or you feel that way to someone. I don't know why I'm seeing it that way. Let's get these clarifies and find out. Clarify the sun for my Scorpios. Why is this low battery coming up? Sorry about that. Clarify the sun for my Scorpios. Strength. Clarify the sun. That was more Leo energy. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo or have it strongly in your chart. And then we have the princess of swords, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
So someone could be spying on your social media or you could be spying on them. This could very well be a past person who had a lot of options and they're nervous about coming in because of the mistakes they made in the past. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Your card's coming out crazy, Scorpio. This hasn't happened. I've done like six readings. Empress, Libra, Gemini, and Earth, definitely Earth energy. So someone is seeing you as very fertile at this time. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, more fertility. Someone wants to plant a new seed of abundance, a new stable offer in beginning with you, or you want to offer that to them. Someone wants to come in with a love offer or possibly an apology, but I'm seeing this as new love, like focus on the here and now with this new offer being presented to you. I feel like if you keep focusing on the past, you'll miss this opportunity. But I get that someone's about to send you a love offer or they already have, that someone wants to rush in. Clarify the world. The magician, yeah, someone's definitely manifesting this. A closing of a cycle, a major completion, and a new beginning. Clarify the world. Five of Pentacles, overall energy, death, your major arcana. So major shift and change. This reminds me of a previous reading. I want to say Taurus, but it doesn't have to be, of course. Five of Pentacles. So again, in the past, you could have been mistreated, left out in the cold in some way, shape, or form. And now this, or you could have left someone out in the cold. I'm getting that someone who feels left out in the cold or not good enough. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Could be spying on you and wanting to offer you something, seeing you as very fertile, very gorgeous, able to turn lemons into lemonade. Like you plant yourself down in a place and it grows. Hmm. I'm also seeing it as like, like I said, you plant yourself down in a place and it grows. There's like this dark place here and then you bring life to it with the sun. And they're very anxious. Maybe they feel like they don't meet your standards. And they're scared to come in. And you may not even, again, notice them because you're focused on the past. Don't focus on, I can't tell you what to do, of course. But either you or this person's focused on the past. That cycle is over. Whoever was juggling or had a lot of options or a baby mom, whatever. That's done for. You know, your potential is endless. You're a major manifester. Put that time, energy, and effort into someone new because I'm definitely seeing a new stable offer of love here. Something dependable. Either someone sees you as this or you see someone as this. Overall, I'm seeing it as definite love for the future. For your future, there's love. <laughs> I'm sorry, my I'm tongue-tied. It's not like Yoda. <laughs> there is love in your future here, especially with the sun card being the first card out and at the center of this reading, the Empress. You are birthing a new stable cycle of warmth, radiance, love, and abundance with the, the happiest card of the deck in the major completion card. There won't be any sleepless nights in this new cycle. Things are changing and oh my gosh, the fool and the 10 of cups again. And then beneath the nine of swords, the 10 of cups, your soulmate, you are calling in your soulmate period. And that is your reading for the next 72 hours. And if it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.